Hey guys, welcome back to the big build. In this 15 part series, we are making this. So we are gonna continue raising the uh, roof. Oh well, raising the land. Moving our houses about a little bit more. We've got to build this town, haven't we? And we're gonna spawn a few splines in here and there as well. Just give it a little bit of variety, but we don't want too much. It's, I, I want it looking like it stays. And right, here comes the hedges. Low poly stuff for the back. Again, not really needed for anything else, but uh, what it does, it fills the space. And that's what we need. It needs to look like it's full, like it's vibrant, there's things in there. So lots of hedges, lots of trees. And that's pretty much all you need at the back and lots of paint later on as well. Now this is our motorway, so we're gonna put a hedge across both sides of this. I don't put it quite to the end because it's quite a fairly low poly. Now we use that hedge in the main city, at the end of the main city. It doesn't look great when it's close up, this one. So we're gonna be putting better quality, higher quality stuff near to the end there. So what I'm trying to do here is not use the same fence everywhere. Not at the beginning anyway. And we've got some walls around the edges here. Now we're on the other side. You can see the plane's blown us now. We get all the walls in. And individually. And again, semi-touch houses. So near the track, properly do it semi-detached. Further out, we do not need to. Just some walls. And later on, we don't even do that. So again, we're not doing so many attached here, just half of them. Then I have this idea. Let's try and add an entrance for those buildings from that sort of level. So we put something on top of that one. Same thing, we're going to lower these buildings down. And you can see I've started to look at the, uh, the airport in the background. Or we'll be doing that. I don't think this episode might be, but I don't think it is. I haven't looked forward <laughs> Yeah, what we're we doing. Probably the next one. So this is gonna be the road next to the airport here. So we're gonna get the buildings in. Now, if you remember, we had a road there already, so we've taken it out because we're going to be running a bus route down here, so we can't have any traffic on this road. So before we put the actual road in, we'll put some buildings in, sort of size out what, you know, how much space we need. And we can deal to detail that later. Now, same as what we did the other side. And we'll go to a car park. That's going to be the car park for the, uh, the airport. Now, just like the other side, we're going to be using these sort of half uh, roads and uh, so the path's only one side to make our junctions. Now, that bit of time I can remember was meant to be our road in between the uh, the car park there, but it's not good enough. We will change that. It's really not wide enough. But I like the car park at least. All nicely uh, laid out. But that as a road? No, I don't think so. That'd be really tight to get the cars in. It's possible. It's one lane wide. But we ditched that idea. This makes a lot more sense. Let's use the road which we've been using everywhere else. And it matches, doesn't it? So. Get rid of that. Put it white out a bit. And it's the same kind of road we're using, just with no paths either side. And we copy that and paste that, run the other way. Boom, and we're done on this. That was really simple in the end.
Now I just work out that I need to put this junction in, so... Now we don't really have anything going down there at the moment. We might do in the future. Probably not, in honesty. But it's there, the junction's made. Now we're going to take that out, because this is going to be our little um, drop-off area. So cars will come in one side and out the other, and also it's going to be a bus stop with a rather impractical bus which goes between here and here. Yes, that was well timed, wasn't it? It's like I planned it. I really didn't. So this is our path, and then we're going to have the buildings. I, I pretty much sort out what we're going to do. I found an old airport. Okay, I don't think it's going to be this episode. It might be. I found an old airport, and I found a lot of other brick buildings which are the same colour. So we're pretty much going to extend that airport building into something a little bit more sizeable using those. Don't like gaps. There you go. Up there, up there doesn't matter too much because we're never going to up there. It just needs to look reasonable from here. Now we're going to probably put some bushes in there. Well, in fact, I know we do, so. Now the reason why I changed it, I didn't want it looking too much like the bus station. Now I think it's the same set we're using, but just didn't colour. By the way, it's concrete, just like the rest of everything here. I think I said before, it makes us appreciate the rest of the, uh, the scenery everywhere else. Right, this is where I was saying I was regretting having lots of hills, so I have to flatten it down for the airport here. Now initially, I think I'm actually going to put the runway in here, but initially we start with one runway. Now remembering that I'm thinking of actually putting in a proper route using an airplane at this point. Didn't know what that was, didn't matter. It dawns on me that one runway won't work. Because maybe we could possibly have more than one aircraft on that route. But that's problematic because we don't really want signals on there. Because do we really want the plane to stop itself? Well, this is the original airport we're going to use. And it's quite small. Then we see this building. Now it looks like it's boarded up. So we're going to use some of these to go around it. Look like doors. It looks like a massive entrance now. So it looks like there's an old airport which has been extended. Now we have some more doors across the front. Just like it's happened with lots of old buildings, it gets ruined, but it it connects the two bits up, doesn't it? So we're quite lucky actually that we found lots of different types of buildings with similar sort of colouring. Now these bits here, we're going to use this sort of, um, I'm going to say gates for the, <laughs> where the planes come in, but yeah, possibly gates, but they're a little bit too close at the moment. So we will, I think this is going to be in the next episode, we will extend it out a little bit further. I think I probably test three aircraft next to each other and they don't fit. So we have to pull the, we have to pull it a little bit further out. That's it for the uh, this episode, Bill. Thank you very much for watching. Um, if you'd like to, please press the like button. If you want to see more, please subscribe. But if you press that ding-dong bell button, it even tells you when I put more stuff on. See you next time. Bye-zy-bye. -bye.